Hey, hey, beautiful babes, and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you exactly how I made this rainbow glitter inlaid wall hanging, which is just amazing. All right, so I had never been to this shop or store called Shelf Pop. Have you heard of it? Well, anyway, it's basically like an upgraded dollar store. And I found this in there for $12. It's this massive rainbow wooden hanging thing. And I'm like, I am taking that home with me and I'm going to be putting glitter in there and freaking inlaying it because it's just so gorgeous. It needs some glitter. It needs some color. It needs some rainbow nest because it's a rainbow and it deserves to have all of its freaking glory. So first things first, I am going in with my 400 grit sanding pad from the Crystalat company. I love these pads. I keep them on hand for every single thing, not even just tumblers, y'all. I'm telling you, they come in handy for all of your crafts. I love that they have this nice foam backing. It allows me to like hold onto the sandpaper really well. So what I'm doing now is I am getting rid of all of those rough edges that I was just showing you. We want our wooden rainbow to be nice and smooth before we start going in with any sort of paint or anything like that. So I did a little poll in a few of the groups that I'm in asking if we should use the holographic collection or the iced collection. And y'all, the iced collection won! Thank you for voting in my Glitter Babe uh, channel on Instagram. We definitely uh, had the iced collection win by a landslide. You all chose that one. <laughs> Nobody would cho choose in the holographic and you know what that was fine because I love the ice collection it's gorgeous it's such a great glitter collection so anyway I need to paint the inside of my rainbow so each different little line that we have each segment of the rainbow I'm going to be painting a different color so I'm using a mix of the color blast stains from counterculture DIY and the crystal, the flippin' awesome paints from the Crystalat company. So I'm just going to be taking a little bit of each paint into each little um, segment that we have here, and I'm just going to be painting that each color. Now, I'm going to go ahead and speed this up because you don't need to see the whole process, but basically I am using about a half inch paintbrush. <laughs> and you may hear my baby in the background here. She's with me while I'm doing my voiceover. But I'm using a half inch paintbrush and I am painting each color with the uh, Color Blast and the Flippin' Awesome paints. And I'm gonna let this dry once I'm done for about four hours because that's the dry time on the Flippin' Awesome paints. The Color Blast paints, in my opinion, tend to dry a little bit faster because they they get a little bit chalky but now we are going to move out into a nice location I'm into my I'm in my garage right now and that's where I'm going to be mixing together my resin and all of that great jazz so I actually didn't record the first part which is of me mixing up the resin here in my garage be because I forgot, um, but make sure when you are using an epoxy resin that you are using it in a nice ventilated area. It is a beautiful day here in Georgia, so I mixed everything outside and then I'll be letting this cure in my she shed. I am using CCDIY's resin and I'm mixing equal parts of part A and part B and I mixed out about a cup to start, so a half a cup of eat part A and part B. And that's just so that I can make all of my eight colors. And so each color I'm pouring, or each, um, I have my cups here and then I'm pouring the epoxy into each cup as I go and mixing the glitter in. And then I am pouring very slowly and carefully that glitter resin mix into each little crevice that we see. Now this process, it's pretty easy to do. I mean, you're just glitter inlaying. Um, like I said, make sure that you are wearing your nitrile gloves and that you have on your mask. You're working in a nice ventilated area. Uh, you definitely want to make sure that you are using equal parts or else your epoxy resin won't cure, which you don't want to happen. Trust me, that happened to me in the past a few years ago and I was like, whoop. 
that was a mistake. So the glitter that I'm using is the Iced Glitter Collection from the Glitter Heart Company. Now, you know that I love my disco balls, and one of my favorite glitters is called Falling Star. It's this silver, chunky glitter that looks like little disco balls. Well, basically, the Iced Glitter Collection, to me, looks just like that glitter, but in different colors. So they're basically like colorful little disco balls, and they're all dancing around and giving us all of the beauty and the sparkle because your girl loves the glitter and the sparkle. Now I'm going to speed this up again so that you can enjoy the process faster. All right, we're just gonna put each color in there and I have a silicone stir stick. If I see, if I need to move any of the epoxy around, you, I use the stir stick. You could also use heat to move yours around if you have a little bit of a, um, if you have a heat gun, I mean, then you can use that to help um, your epoxy but my um, temperature here where I am it is very warm out so this stuff is like thriving it loves the heat and so I am a happy camper if you get any little bubbles you can use a lighter or a torch I do have a torch but my husband decided to use the mini propane thing for the mini fire pit thing that we have that goes in our outdoor table so um I did not have that on hand, so I was using a bunch of different lighters because they kept running out of lighter fluid on me. But um, you can also take your stir stick and run it along the insides, along the edges, so that you can pop any of those little bubbles too if there are any bubbles on the side. So now we're gonna wait for this to cure and the next All right, day, it's super early here we in go. The morning. Let's go out to the she shed and check out how our rainbow is going. <gasps> There's Bear. Say hey, buddy. Good morning. All right, here we go. You're the protector of the shed. Protector of the shed, Jesus. Oh, okay. Oh, Bear, you gonna come see what we're doing? Dear Lord, please say there's no lizards in it. Oh yeah, let me see. Okay, it's set up nice. Perfect. I'm going to get another coat on it this morning. There we go. Okay, so I'm putting coat two on it. This, oh my God, y'all don't laugh at me. I had to leave that clip, uh, that clip in there of you meeting my dog and my she shed. Yes, I know that it is a mess. The left side of it actually looks a lot better, but I didn't get any of that on film. Um, my husband like put all of his stuff in there, so um, I'm living with that. But that's okay. I'm very grateful and happy for the outdoor space, so your girl is not complaining. So I mixed up another cup of resin, and I am going to go in and pour very slowly into each little... Um, crevice and color to cover up that glitter that we have there. I'm probably going to add about four coats total on this project. Um, I think it ended up being four. I'll go back and double check. But it just gives this beautiful depth to the glitter. Like this project, it turns out so beautifully in the end. Just stay with me, y'all. And one time I actually ran out of epoxy. I had to mix up some more, but I didn't want to mix too much. So I just kind of kept mixing as I went. Like if I needed more, then I would just go ahead and make some more. All right, so now once all of that, it, you have your resin in all of the little areas, you're going to pop those bubbles again. Make sure you have your gloves on. I actually took my gloves off and then um, I did have them on, I promise, but I took them off um, to pop the bubbles. And I was just showing you that there. All right, anyway. So pop those bubbles and then we're going to let this sit overnight and then I'm going to come back and we'll check on it the next day. All right, here she is. It is nice and cured up. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to move this back into my garage so I have a little bit better lighting and I'm going to start sanding this baby down in preparation for our um, the white that I'm going to be painting around this and to just make sure that everything is nice and smooth and even. Once again, I'm using my favorite 400 grit sanding pad from the Crystal Act Company. And then if you need to remove any of the sanding dust when you're done here, I highly recommend their surface cleaner. You can absolutely use their surface cleaner with epoxy. Did you know that? Did you think that it was only for epoxy free? It's not. 
It's for epoxy too. You can use it for anything, any project that you're making if you wanna clean it, really. All right, now once that is all cleaned up, I'm going to be painting all of the wood with my white paint. Now you may ask yourself, Lauren, why didn't you paint it first? And it's because I had to see it come together. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a white color or if I wanted to do a dark brown wood stain. So I ended up choosing the um, the white, pure white flippin' awesome paint, and I'm really happy that I went that way because it just makes the whole project look bright and it's so pretty. All right, so if you get a little bit of your paint on top of the glitter areas or where your epoxy is, that is totally fine because you can easily clean that up with a um, some acetone or some alcohol. I kind of like went in between. I used a little bit of both depending on um, how much I messed up, but I really didn't mess up too much here on the glitter. It ended up looking really, really, really good in the end. So I am just going to fast forward through this part because you get it. You're just going to take your brush and you're going to paint, paint, paint. And the dry time on the flippin' awesome paints are four hours. And then once this is all done, I'm going to put another coat of epoxy on top of it. I did end up distressing the white paint just a little bit. So once I had all the white everywhere that I wanted it, I took my sanding pad and I just like gently scuffed it up again on the side. So you can see the difference between like the wood and then the white. And I really like that um, distressed look. I sealed that up with one last coat of CCDIY's resin and look at her and all her beauty. But then look, I kind of went off on this tangent and I have to show you. <laughs> so I had this idea and I decided to paint the back. So I used Crystalac Flippin' Awesome's Pink Pizzazz and these are just little clips from my um, my story I had to show you in this tutorial because I just had to. So my daughter always says this phrase to me, you're my best. She said it since she was like two years old. You're my best. I don't know what I'm the best at, but I'm assuming that she just means like I'm the best mom, but she always says you're my best. So I used uh, the Vinyl People's Vinyl. This is a gorgeous kind of like minty green. And then I um, cut it out using my Cricut and then I used some transfer tape and I put it onto the back of this beauty and then I sealed it with some epoxy. So I know, I know, I'm so funny. I'm a mess. And then here we go. Here is the final reveal. I ended up adding some black polka dots all along the exterior white areas. And I just love how that came out. It seriously made it like pop, pop, lock and drop it. I didn't drop it though. You see that? You're my best. And look, she can she can put this uh, both ways. It's reversible now, and it just makes my mama heart so, so, so dang happy. All right, if you loved this project, please make sure to comment. Share this baby-o with your friends. Share it, seriously. Like it, subscribe, all of that great jazz. Tell me if you hated it. I mean, if you hate it, you don't like rainbows, let me know. I mean, I may not agree with you, but that's okay. And you can find this ice collection glitter at the Glitter Heart Company, one of my faves, and you can find everything linked below. So I love you all, and happy crafting, my beautiful babes. And if you're still watching, subscribe!